Hello my lovely cunts, I have a story for you today, check this shit out. Football fan gets revenge on the fiancé who was apparently dumb enough to dump her by text. Brenna Clanton a lifelong Dallas Cowboys fan, and recent recipient of a breakup text from a now ex-fiancé, got revenge by showing her ex just how much fun she's having without him. In picture that's since gone viral on Twitter. At the Monday night Dallas Cowboys game against the Detroit Lions in Arlington, Texas, Alex McDaniel, the editor-in-chief of the Oxford Eagle and Oxford Press, tweeted a picture of Clanton holding a sign that read, quote, My fiancé dumped me in a text message. He should have waited until after Christmas. End quote. That's because, according to McDaniel's tweet, Clanton, who was 30, had bought these great seats for the football game for them and booked an Airbnb before he dumped her in late October over text message, claiming that they had nothing in common, which was one of the hashtags included on her handwritten sign, along with ghosting, MNF, and ESPN. In her tweet, McDaniel also added, quote, she's doing fine, end quote. In an interview with Dallas News, Clanton related being at work, she's a hairstylist one day in October and getting a breakup text from the man who'd asked to marry her just four months before, quote, that threw me for a loop, she said, but she didn't let that stop her from enjoying the game without him. She explained, quote, I was absolutely going to go, I was just going to take my best friend instead, just like that old saying, the best revenge is served cold, during a football game. Wow, she sure showed him. He, at least temporarily, avoided a lifetime of misery, pain, and poverty by not marrying her. But he missed the foosball game. He sure screwed up big time. Marriage or a foosball game. Decisions, decisions. This is a perfect example how media tries to shame men into marriage and settling down. Fuck marriage and settling down, especially when you are a man. And this is what happened to a man who did get married. So I was just checking my emails and uh, Becky, my wife, had left her email open. Next one from kissinggates.com, some sort of rural dating site. I thought that was a bit strange. So I signed in, here's the profile, Becky James, 37. There she is, beautiful. And I went down and it says, oh yeah, she's married, fantastic. I had a profile. I have a confession to make, my husband doesn't know I'm on here. Well, I do now, darling. Um, she's been married for five years and he's a complete idiot and completely crazy. I love two things in my life, my horses and my convertible Peugeot. Unfortunately for you, I have the keys to your lovely convertible Peugeot. Let's see how crazy I am. So I'll just pick up some of your favourite horses and we'll see what we can do with them. So here you go, just about to uh, get around and see the beautiful Peugeot. Valentine's Day. Oh dear. There goes the restart. Happy Valentine's Day. That should show how crazy I am. Oh dear. Her pride and joy. What do you think to that? Not very cool, is it? Using kissengates.com?